Now I show you how to use the JSON content importer in WordPress with this JSON. So we here at a new installation of WordPress and we have the JSON content importer free version already installed and we set up a new page. At this new page, we will insert a short code. The short code's name is JSON content importer. So we have to switch here to the text mode of the editor, uh, JSON content importer, JSON content importer. And we have to add the URL. The URL we already have here at the test server and copy paste it in here. So the shortcut knows where to get the data. We add um, flag debug mode is 10 to show some debug data. Just add test and close by JSON content, Im content importer. So that's it. So if this is previewed, the WordPress is analyzing the shortcut and um, shows some um, debug info. So there's no cache active. We try to retrieve the data from an URL. Uh, and by this we use VP underscore remote get. This is the usual way WordPress, uh, WordPress is uh, retrieving data. We have one argument, it's timeout, five seconds. This is uh, set by default and we're here successful in getting the data. So the RP answer is uh, the items array with the two URLs. So there are other um, codes like base node and template we have to set up for getting the URLs displayed. For that, we return to the short code and first we uh, set here a base node. Base node is items. So items because in the JSON, the whole JSON is starting with items and then the short code knows, okay, items is the point where we start and have to loop through the items uh, of this item array. So base node items is the one thing and the other thing is we replace test by URL is URL and so so that's it and another preview gives us here the two URLs the short code is, is executed gets the data the WordPress plugin knows okay let's start at items and loop through all um, items of the items array and there he finds your and with the value so that's it for a basic start in the JSON Content Importer WordPress plugin.